Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today I'll be viewing these wires here, buds. This is the brand name for it. They did send me these units for review. Right now, they're currently charging. Let's take them out for a sec. This is the charging case. Here's the LED indicator here. That just shows how much capacity is left with a built-in battery. It has to charge with this case. I also just press this button here. And it'll show me how much capacity is left. There's an R and an L, it shows the left and right earbud. Some of the spec information is printed on the bottom here. Now, after it's paired with my smartphone, whether it's Samsung, Android, or iPhone, it shows up as A66. On the back over here, on the back we have the micro USB charging port. It did come with a micro USB cable, and this can easily fit in my pocket. Now, here is the wires earbud. Power it on, I'm just gonna press it. I'm pressing both of them right now for about three seconds. Now it's powered on. Right ear, left ear. The audio quality for music is okay. It's on par with other $30 headphones. I wouldn't say that it's superior to any of those. There is a little bit of bass, not too much, but not too little. It's not absent either. The microphone quality is pretty poor. The microphone is situated right over here. A lot of times when I'm making phone calls with this, we're using this with my web meetings. Well, folks ask me to repeat myself. We're using the two earbuds together. It is stereo. There's left channel, right channel. In the battery life is about five hours or so which is essentially what they advertise, so there's no problem there. A lot of times I use this before bed, and I've been using it just single, one ear listening and the other ear just lying on the pillow. And the battery life when it's just one channel is quite amazing. I get over 24 hours. They advertise 30 hours, but once I'm around the 24, I'm guessing like 24 to 30 hour range, when it starts beeping, because of low battery, that gets annoying, that's molded, that's enough motivation for me to just insert back into the case to charge it. Now, I think most of the time, folks, have to, when they're done using it, they're just putting it back in the case anyway, and that would be in the charge process. But since I was just testing, I purposely left the outside of the case. Another motivation to just use it, put it in the case, is because this, I, the item is all black. There's no tracking feature for this, so it's best just to leave it in the case when I'm not using it. There's been times where I placed it back in the case and it did not seat properly, so it did not charge. Now I'm just placed in here, drop this one, this one charged. With this one, I had to twist it clockwise a little, a little bit. So now it's seated properly. To charge the earbuds completely from zero to 100%, it took about 25% of the capacity in the case battery. So the buttons are multi-purpose buttons. I can answer phone calls. I can fast forward, rewind a track, I can increase the volume. For example, if I just wanna increase the volume, I'll tap it three times on the right side, lower the volume three times on the left side. I have different earbuds. If I use this every day and only this, sure, I'm, I can easily memorize that. But other than that, I, don't, I really don't use the multifunction button that often. It's great that this uses Bluetooth 5 because on iOS devices, we can now see how much capacity is left on the battery. I've also tried pairing this with more than one device, such as my iPad and my iPhone. There's no active switching. It's not like AirPods Pro. These are just $30. Even if they both stay connected, that doesn't mean I can still actively switch between the two devices. If I was playing music on one, I'll need to hit play, then completely stop it, exit the app, before I can start and play the music on another device. It is comfortable to wear, mainly because this item is very lightweight. It's priced at $30, and the only complaint I really had is just a microphone. I'm not using this for my web calls or making phone calls. I'm just using this mainly for watching videos, listening to music. For that purpose, I do think this is worth it, and I would recommend it for that purpose. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.